If you try to seek asylum in Japan, there is a good chance this is where you'll end up. Locked up in the East Japan Migrant Detention Center. This place looks and feels very much like a prison. Right now, 300 people are being held behind bars here. Most have committed no crime, but we are not allowed to see them, let alone interview them. So this is one of the rooms where the detainees are kept. Although this is all steel, it's very much like a cell. And in here, there could be as many as five people living, and they are locked up inside here for up to 15 hours a day. Now, there is a toilet in here, there's a wash basin, and there is a window, but the windows are blanked off, so you can't see out of them. This man knows exactly what it's like to be locked up in one of those cells. Today, Erin Yildirim is happily married with a new baby. But after fleeing to Japan from Turkish Kurdistan, he spent a year and a half locked up and under daily pressure to leave. Every day they told me I was going to be deported. They said, don't build up any hopes. It's better you go home voluntarily. But if you don't, we will deport you. To me, it was no different from Guantanamo Bay. When refugees are detained in Japan, it's the same as prison. They may not physically beat you, but they bully you mentally every day. Fifteen years later, Erin has still not been granted asylum. He can only stay in Japan because his wife is Japanese. Japan rejects more than 99% of refugee applications. In the last year, it has accepted just three refugees from Syria. In a house an hour north of Tokyo, this young man has recently arrived from Iraq. He's applied for asylum, but knows he has little chance. While he waits, he's barred from working or even getting a mobile phone. They give you no options, he says. They don't let you live. I just sit here all day. It's like being in prison. So in the end, you'll want to leave. Japan's asylum system appears designed to grind people down, to get them to leave. The detention center cells are decorated with messages. This one in Chinese. In Japan, foreign refugees have no human rights, it says. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Ibaragi, Japan.